And the U.S. Surgeon General is calling for warning labels on social media similar to the ones that you find on nicotine products and on alcohol. Dr. Vivek Murthy says social media's effects and impacts on youth is a nationwide emergency that needs to be dealt with. So our Kevin Coe spoke with a teenager who was addicted to social media and a doctor in Silicon Valley to find out more about this urgency. Kayla Bathia is a Gen Zer who was addicted to social media. I would lay in bed for about five to eight hours. It's kind of like sleep paralysis. Like, you know, you're like in a dream, but like you can't get out. Once she realized she was addicted, the teenager says she wasn't sure what to do. It's scary because like I had no one to guide me because my parents had no idea how to use social media and how it works really. So I feel as though our generation is the first to experience it, and we kind of experienced it by ourselves. So um, as I got into social media, I started to see the negative impacts of social media, both mentally and, I guess, physically. In the last decade, for sure, we're seeing a rise in mental health concerns in young people. And while we may not be able to pull a, an absolute direct correlation between social media um, and those mental health concerns. Um, we are seeing some pretty clear indications that excessive social media use can lead to mental health concerns like worsening anxiety and depression. Dr. Lynette Shu is a child and adolescent psychiatrist at Kaiser Permanente in Santa Clara. Exposure to social media and it is its ways of engaging with you can change things like dopamine pathways and can lead to patterns that look like addiction. So even though we're saying it's not a substance, right? The way our brains interact with it can create addiction behavior like pattern. That's why Dr. Shu supports U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy's new push calling for warning labels on social media platforms. I really respect the steps that are being taken to secure the better mental health of our of our young people. Murthy says warning labels would state social media is associated with significant mental health harms and not been proved safe to use, similar to warning labels on nicotine products. That similar analogy between cigarettes and social media is very fair. And it's very much based in the real world experience of what we're all witnessing and observing and what our youth are giving us feedback for. Jason Frost is the co-founder of Wired Human, an organization advocating for protecting children from the worst that social media can offer. Putting that label on social media is accountability and saying, no, these are actually human beings that you are destroying lives. You are putting, you are burying children in the ground and people need to be made aware of by our government and at, at a societal level of those dangers. The government is tackling social media harm in several ways, like last year, when a federal lawsuit filed in 41 states, including California, accused Meta of knowingly designing and deploying features to keep younger users online longer, violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and collecting data on children under 13 years old. Two thirds of young people, 13 to 17, say that they're using social media every day. And a third of them say they're using social media constantly. Putting the warning labels can perhaps empower parents to be able to engage with their young people, to perhaps even engage as a whole family around how we can make sure that um, we are managing this resource responsibly. That's exactly what happened with Kayla when she finally logged off of social media. It wasn't hard for you taking the break? Oh, no, it, it definitely was. But um, luckily, my parents helped me. They set time limits on my phone. So um, parents have an equal um, responsibility for ensuring that their kids are safe online. When it comes to placing warning labels on social media platforms, it would require Congress to first pass legislation. And we reached out to Meta this morning to ask about the potential warning labels on its platform and ask what Meta is doing to combat mental health harms for teens and kids. We have not heard back.